And yeah, that video never made it to production, obviously, because you can't, there's only so much editing one can do. And I couldn't edit, I couldn't make enough edits to take that out and make the video still make sense, so. Hi everyone, I'm Jody, and welcome to my channel. I'm really glad that you've stopped by. This tutorial is all about eyeshadow in simple, simple steps. So you can have a sophisticated eyeshadow look with a really easy technique that I'm gonna show you today. So this is the look that we finished. You, when you get done with this video, please pass it and share it with any girlfriend that you have that is struggling with makeup, whether they're beginner or they're just looking for a new way to apply their eyeshadow. This is a, a true can't fail for anybody that is looking for eyeshadow tip. I love this technique. Shame on me for not sharing it with you guys sooner, but here it is. I think you're gonna love it. It's super, super, super easy. Have I said it's easy? Yeah, it's super easy. So let's get started. So we are going to just jump right in with the power of hair clips because why not? I was gonna put on another one of those bow things because I love those things that hold your hair back with the bow on them. I don't know why. They look fun to me, but then when I see them back in camera, I'm like, that looks so ridiculous. But I don't care, I love them. I just didn't really have one I think that matched this shirt. Does it have to match? No, but. So I'm just gonna use these little clippies. If you haven't seen these before, you can get them on almost, I mean, you can get them at the drugstore probably. I don't know if Walgreens or CVS or some of those Rite Aid carry them or not, but I just order them on Amazon. They just help hold your hair back, but also without getting that crease in it that you get from clips sometimes. So if you do your hair and then your makeup and you just want to pull everything back, then those are really handy to have. So in terms of eye, I did an eyeshadow tutorial recently on cream eyeshadow. And the reason I love cream eyeshadow for more mature eyes is simply because you don't need a primer. And whenever you can eliminate a layer on more mature skin, you're helping to eliminate that older look to your makeup. Cream eyeshadow is great because no primer needed. Powder eyeshadow, you don't necessarily need a primer, but I highly recommend one. I've already put a primer on, and all you do is rub it from, you know, a little bit on your eyelids. I, right now, I'm using MAC um, from a paint pod, just bare study, because I just think it gives me a nice neutral canvas to work from. So as long as it sort of matches the rest of my skin, so that whatever color shadow I put on it, that's more the shadow I'm gonna get, where usually my eyelids are a little bit more on the purpley side in the morning. So if I was to put like a brown or a pink on top of that purpley color, I wouldn't get the true color that I'm expecting from the shadow. So I use a primer sort of for two reasons. If you don't have a primer, you can always use a concealer or you can use your foundation brush and just put that over it. If you have moisturized already, you always wanna have a good moisturizer on your eyelids as a place to start. So moisturizer, and then um, whatever primer you have or foundation just to give you sort of that neutral canvas and then apply your shadow. Now you guys are gonna love this eyeshadow tutorial because I'm telling you, it is so, so simple. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. It has beautiful colors in it. It's a really pretty palette. It is $49, so I have not put it in a recommendation, although the colors are really pretty. So if you know somebody that loves palettes, you know, it doesn't smell like cinnamon rolls like they used to when they would put out a palette. Too Faced would put out some great palettes that had a nice smell to them. This one does not have that cinnamon smell. Um, but again, the look that we're gonna do today, you can do with any eyeshadow palette. All you have to do is find three colors that are start from dark, and more of a middle color and then a lighter color in the same tone. So if you wanna go with pinks, go dark pink, medium pink, light pink. If you wanna do browns, dark brown, medium brown, light brown. If you wanna do like uh, blues, dark blue, medium blue, light blue. That's all you need to do is find a shadow a palette um, or if you like to buy eyeshadows in the singles, then buy singles. Um, but just gather whatever eyeshadows you have and you just want three colors that look, that are in the same tone, dark, medium, and light. And then, you guys, the only other thing that you really need is a brush. And if you don't have a brush and you have the, the little spongy brush that comes in eyeshadows, that's okay too. The key is you want a brush that is three, that you could get three of that brush along your eyelid, at least. If you can get four, that's even better. So you don't want one that is super wide so that I can only get one, two across and covering my eyelid. Does that make sense? So you're gonna wanna find a brush that is in size, that is much more to the smaller side. By the, that did not look very magical. Let's try that again. Two sizes, you're gonna wanna brush that is 
this size, well, this size, it's very magical, instead of a wider one. So whatever you have, again, just try to line it with your eye so it'll go from the crease and the corner one time, two times, at least three times so that you don't have a real wide brush. Then all you're gonna do is take three colors. So I am gonna go with my darkest color is gonna be this center color. And see how this is even lined up? You could go dark, medium, that. You could go the way that palette. So look at the palette that you have and see if there are three contrasting colors that go dark, medium, light, like those three do. Those would actually be really pretty. Maybe I'll do that just for simple. And I don't really wanna do a bunch of shimmery, shiny shadows. I definitely wanna use more of a matte color. So yeah, I'm gonna just go boom, boom, boom. And in this palette, I'm just gonna go with these three, which is Batter Up, Cinnamon Swirl, and Lick the Spoon. Those are fun names. So you can see those are three colors that just go from dark to light. That's really all you need to do. So I'm gonna go with the first color, which is this dark color put a little bit on the brush. Now this is the fun part and I think you'll be really impressed with how well this works. A little bit of color. I am going to use this eye because it's easier for you guys to see. And I'm just going to make sure I put the brush with the color on it. Go to my eyelash, all the way to my eyelash outer corner and just bring that color up just to my br um, crease. So lash line, width of the brush to the crease. See that? So I'm gonna do it on the next side. And then wipe off your brush really good so that you get off all of that color so that we get the right color that we want. And then next we're gonna go in with the cinnamon swirl, which is that next color right here. Get it on both sides of the brush. And same thing, but now we're gonna put that right next to, not on top of, but right next to the other color. So lash line, not on top of, but right next to, so we're sort of making a rainbow, if you will. Lash line to crease. Lash line to crease. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Now don't worry about how crazy this looks because it's gonna look a little crazy and that's okay. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is clean your brush really good and now you should have about half of your eyelid remaining without any eyeshadow product on it. If you have too much lid covered, then perhaps your brush was too big. If you don't have about half of your lid covered, you might have used a brush that's a little too small and that's okay. Just next time, go for a little bit wider brush because you wanna go a quarter of the color, a quarter of the color, and then the second half with your lighter color. So you're using three colors. I'm gonna switch that last color up and go with this color right here, which is Doughboy. So it's a really light, pretty color. I'm just gonna mix that one on both sides. Then what we'll do is we're gonna take that lighter color from the lash line all the way up, also to that crease. And then this color, because it's our lighter, it's gonna cover the other rest of the lid all the way to that inner corner lash line, inner corner to crease. And I'm gonna get a little bit more of that because I do like that color. It's nice and peachy. And just, again, right in the center and all the way to the corner lash line to crease. That's what your eye should look like when you are done before we do any blending. Now we're just gonna do that same thing on the other eye. So lash line up to the crease and into the corner of your eye. Now if you have hooded eyes, you can still use this easy, easy hack. You're just gonna wanna go slightly outside or above your crease line so that you can get a little bit of the benefit of those three colors without it looking too much, taking up too much of the space between your eyebrow and your lash line. But you can see how we're just gonna use again that lighter color. I'm just gonna get a little bit more on my brush and just go lash line. So almost in a straight line up. So it looks a little stripy, right? And it looks a little crazy, but that's okay because this is how simple this is. So after you've done that, you've done your three stripes from the darker color outside, medium color in, covering half of the lash, and then the remainder half you're gonna do with the lighter color. We're just gonna get a big fluffy brush, whichever blending brush you have. This is a Morphe M330. 
I probably picked this up at Ulta. You're just going to blend this out. Now I like to blend from the inside out because that's where my lighter color is and then I can kind of fade it to the darker versus the darker coming into the lighter. And you're just going to softly blend all those colors without moving them. I'm not trying to window wash it. I'm just trying to softly blur all of those colors together. Paying close attention to that crease that I don't go really too far outside of that crease. So you're just doing little swirls, if you will, all the way where you put the shadows. And then again over here, I'm just gonna clean my brush real quick just to make sure that I don't have some of that dark color on the brush that I'm not bringing it into the center. And then right in the center of the eye, little tiny swirls, not window washing, little swirls, and then blurring the three colors together really simply. By again, not trying to move the product. I can't wink with this eye, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me. Here, I can just do that. <laughs> I can't blink with this eye, so pardon me, but you got the gist on this eye, I hope. And we're just gonna blend it, blend it, blend it, go a little bit to your crease, not any higher, unless you have hooded eyes, then you'll wanna pull that a little bit above the crease line and your lash line so you can get the benefit of all those colors and blend it together. Then what we'll do is just take it and kind of flick it out just at the corner so that you're getting the benefit of that darker color lifting with the lifting effect to the shadow that says, you know, kind of to your eye that you're at this angle up versus down. So everything's always angled up. So when I say you don't want to go outside of the crease, you really don't except for this sort of darker color where you just kind of want to blow it out. Now, if you wanted, you could go with a lighter color to your, from your crease up to your brow bone. I don't like to do that so much for day. Um, and if you find that this look is too dark for you, then just scale all three of the colors that you used, scale them down in color so that maybe instead of going with those darker colors that we had, maybe you're going to want to go with something as your darker color could be much lighter. Like maybe this could be your darker color and then maybe that color and that color, or if that's not dark enough, play with what you have and don't put it on until you put those three colors together side by side and figure out which three you want to use. And they don't even have to be the same colors. Many people like to use like a darker brown and then fade to pink. Whatever combination you want to use is absolutely fine. The easy thing to think about here is that application. And that's just going with those three colors, 25% of the color, 25% of the color, second half, is all the lighter color. And that's really as hard as it gets, you guys. And then from there, you can bring that darker color that we had um, with any type of just a little, well, that's an eyeliner, that's not gonna do you any good. With any one of those colors, I prefer to go under my eyes with the middle color that I used because I don't like my under eye area to be super dark. So from there, I will just use that same middle color, whatever it is that you use, and go to about, I don't know, I've been going a little bit more than a half lately. I don't know why. Maybe because it's darker now, earlier, and I feel the need to have darker makeup. I have no idea. But whatever you feel like doing under your under eyes is perfectly fine. And then there, just like that. And then you could always blend it with that lighter color if you wanted. Now, I have to say for using these colors for the first time, they're very blendable. I do feel like I'm getting more fallout than I normally do. Um, so I don't know what that's about just yet, but. And then there you have it. That is your eyeshadow look. And you can keep blending until you reach the level of blendability that you like. And if you find that, gosh, I didn't use dark enough colors, just go one darker and go back over that first 25% or that first brush width with a little darker color. The key to this look is just ensuring that your brush is the right size and that it's not too big to cover too much of your eyelid. Pretty simple, right? So from there, what I would probably do is just add a little bit of liner um, to my lids because I just can't ever stop without using a liner. You could stop here and just use mascara. You could use a liner and tight line underneath your lashes, or you could do what I'm gonna do is just let eyelash look just above the lashes so that I can just get a little bit more of a, of a dramatic look out of the look that we're going for. And that's pretty much how simple it's going to be. Now I can see that I still have some blending to do here. 
So let's just blend that away so that you can see how simple it is. You're just really trying to blend those harsh lines so that you can't tell where those line marks are. And that's, that's as hard as it gets, you guys, truly. Isn't that simple? I just love sharing this tip with you guys so that people that are struggling with eyeshadow, you don't have to. It's super simple. Um, the thing I would say is that if you have more mature skin, more mature eyes, I, I, I do tend to stay away from more shimmery shadows and I go a little bit more matte just because I feel like the shadows or the shimmers reflect light. And if there is light and then there's not, and then there's light and then there's not, I feel like it highlights where the light is, is not, and the light is not when there's a wrinkle. So it just feels very wrinkly to me. So I try to stay away from it unless it is a special occasion or I'm trying to, you know, match my sparkly shirt or something. But I'm really trying to stay away from glitter and sparkle. So that is as hard as it gets. You can add your liner however you choose. Again, I just like to use a little bit of liner right underneath uh, or the, on the top of my eye. I don't usually put it under my eye because I don't really care for that darkness. And then a little bit of mascara. And let's grab what's here on my desk. This is the Lancome Idol. And we'll add some mascara to this look. And then you can add your lipstick, whatever color you want. But there you go. Isn't that simple? You guys, it's so simple. And it makes it fun to try to think about different colors. Sorry for not looking at the camera when I put on my mascara, but I did that the other day and completely got mascara in my eye. And yeah, that video never made it to production, obviously, because you can't, there's only so much editing one can do. And I couldn't edit, I couldn't make enough edits to take that out and make the video still make sense. So I am just going to have to look slightly away during the mascara section. I think we have done it. You guys, I hope you love this video. More importantly, I hope you love this hack and use it. And share this video with any of your girlfriends that are struggling with how to do eyeshadow. It shouldn't be uh, something that people are afraid of. It can be really fun with a simple, simple, simple trick of just a two steps matching your brush to the size of your eyelid and then getting three colors starting from dark, medium, and light. And then that's pretty much as hard as it gets. You guys saw, we just striped it and blended it. And then you can add your mascara, liner if you choose. I've just put liner on the top and just a little bit of that medium shadow across the bottom. And then just try to blend your, I'll probably change out this lip gloss um, to match a little bit more of the pinks and stuff that I used. That's not, that's not gonna give me any color. Um, oh. Surprise, surprise, Shiny Peach 910 from L'Oreal. It's just, it matches everything. So I'm just gonna add that because this other color I have on is a little bit too bright, I think, for the overall look I was going for. And there we go. So there you go, simple, simple hack for your eyeshadow. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like it so that I know this is the type of tutorial that you're interested in. And again, share this with your girlfriends. If you know somebody, we all know somebody that's struggling with makeup. So who do you know and can they benefit from learning this simple, simple tip, especially for all the holidays and those holiday parties coming up. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.